Anna is 10 years old and a passionate soccer player. Her parents are standing at the field and cheering along while Hannah outpaces her opponents. Hannah is usually the fastest on the field, but today she's quickly running out of breath. She simply cannot keep up. Later, she notices bruises everywhere in her body, although she didn't bump into anything. Strange. In the evening, Hannah gets all feverish and lies in bed. Her parents are very worried and bring her to a doctor who takes a blood sample. The doctor returns very worried and explains that Hannah has leukemia. She needs a chemotherapy immediately. Leukemia? Chemotherapy? Hannah has no idea what that is. Her parents seem to understand and look quite scared. All will be good, my dear, explains her mother and hugs her daughter tightly. On the next day, Hannah gets a room in the hospital. The doctors explain to her what leukemia is. Imagine that you have a school in your bone that is visited by students called stem cells. These cells have very special skills. They are immortal and can copy themselves an infinite number of times. While stem cells stay in school, their copies have to decide for one of three jobs in the blood. They can become red blood cells, which are like truck drivers that transport oxygen through the bloodstream. They can also become platelets, which are like builders that fix holes in the bloodstream. Or they can become white blood cells, which are like police officers that catch bad guys such as viruses and bacteria. And since stem cells are so powerful, they have to stick to two important rules. The first rule states that each one of them must make way to young cells once they become too old. The second rule states that stem cells are only allowed to train further cells if more cells are needed. If, for example, 10 red blood cells turn old, then 10 new red blood cells need to be trained. Too many cells are not good for the body. The problem with Hannah is that an evil stem cell is sitting in her classroom. He won't follow the rules. His name is leukemia and something is not quite right with him. He copies himself without restrictions until the school and the blood system are full of his copies. The poor stem cells have no room to produce new cells. In the meantime, the old truck drivers, police officers and builders are giving way to young cells, but the stem cells cannot train any new cells. Normally, white blood cells lock up the leukemia, but they have become too many. What does that mean for me? asks Hannah. Well, says the doctor, while playing soccer, you ran out of breath because the red blood cells were not transporting enough oxygen through your body. You got bruises because the platelets could not fix the holes in your blood system. And you got fever because the white blood cells could not protect you against viruses and bacteria. But don't worry, says the doctor. Mit we'll get this fixed with chemotherapy. It is like a super police officer who is specialized in recognizing the fast dividing cells. The leukemia is a very fast dividing cell and thus easily spotted by chemotherapy. A few good stem cells are locked up as well because they divide fast too. The doctor gives Hannah the chemotherapy in blocks with rests in between them. Stem cells can regenerate during these rests in order to withstand the next chemotherapy block. Leukemia can regenerate as well, but he is affected much, much more by the chemotherapy than the stem cells. With each chemo block, there are less and less leukemia cells left. The doctor wants to continue giving chemotherapy until all leukemia cells have been defeated. Hannah feels terrible during this time. She feels nausea and everything hurts. Luckily, her friends come visit her regularly. Her parents are also there every day. Hannah was very sad when she lost her long hair. Hair cells divide quickly and are also locked up by chemotherapy. Don't worry, my dear. They will grow back, promises her father. And soon enough, Hannah has made it. All leukemia cells have been defeated and the stem cells are producing red and white blood cells as well as platelets. Her hair is growing back as well and she is allowed to go back to school. Her parents are very proud of her. Hannah is back on the field, once again outpacing her opponents while her parents cheer along from the edge of the field. <laughs>